let's make a plant-based sausage, egg and cheese breakfast sandwich. Every good sandwich, in my opinion, starts with seitan. So, what do we got? We have half a cup of vital wheat gluten, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon red pepper flake, cause Brian's feeling extra spicy. One teaspoon ground sage, one teaspoon bouillon of your choice. This happens to be a plant-based chicken consomme. Fresh cracked black pepper. Roughly half a teaspoon. Or whatever you're comfortable with. And then these guys, but we're not ready for them yet because they need to be toasted. Let's toast them. We've toasted fennel seeds before. It's very, very simple. You just put them in a medium pan just for a couple of minutes until you smell them a little bit and then they're toasted. And after just a couple of minutes of heating up in the pan, our fennel seeds are toasted. That was one teaspoon. Now we have all the dry stuff in the bowl. We want to mix this up real good. Just try to evenly distribute it. Now it's time for the wet. Okay, so we're starting off with roughly half a cup of water. And then two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon soy sauce, and last but certainly not least, one teaspoon of sesame oil. Just want to give that a mix. Now, here's the trick. Is there too much of this for this? I don't know yet. So I'm only going to put in two thirds of it or so. Reserve a little bit. It's okay. Mix that up. So far, so good. This generally makes enough for about two sandwiches. We're just gonna make one today to show you and um, I'll save that other one for later. Okay, it looks like this time I don't need all that liquid. So I'll probably reserve that and use it for another batch if I wanted to make more, or you can actually use that if you're going to be simmering seitan. It works really, really nicely. Today, we're actually gonna steam it. So it won't get used today. The seitan, as it comes together, should hold and feel moist to the touch, but not like overly soaked. As you can see, the bowl came clean really, really easily. And now using the best tools you have available, which are your hands, I'm just gonna put it out on my cutting board to give this a quick knead. Okay, with my dough scraper, I wanna cut it into two roughly equal pieces. And then we're gonna shape those into patties, like a, a burger type shape. Remember, they do expand a little bit in cooking, so you don't want to make one that's like really, really, really big, and then it comes out really, 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 really big, like I did last time I made these. Okay, and my technique for these is I get them on the board once they're flat a little bit, and just kind of press. You just want to keep pushing down on them, applying pressure until you get it to roughly the shape you're looking for. Uh, something like this. Seems pretty good to me. Pretty thin, only like just under a half inch or so. All right, time to start cooking them. And over to our stove. Now we have a pan on medium heat. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in it to help for stickage purposes or non-stickage purposes, I guess I should say. And we're going to add our seitan pieces in. We're gonna cook them for about three to four minutes per side until they're nice and golden brown. All right, you see that color? That's what we're looking for. Once both sides are done, now we put it into the basket of our steamer and then over a pot of boiling water for about 30 minutes. And next comes, well, some people might be a little disappointed with this, but we're gonna use tofu as our egg. Now, if you wanna use just egg, the folded strips or make your own just egg, that's all good, well and good. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna use a slice of tofu and you'll see how we treat it. It'll come out kind of egg-like. It'll be egg adjacent. Just need to drain it, get it out of there. And I don't really press tofu. I just give it a good squeeze. This is extra firm tofu. So it has a nice firm texture already. Just don't break the block. That's important. Now I'm looking for roughly a square. So something like that. This goes in the fridge. We'll use it for something else. Now I want to just slice one piece off. So I'm going like this. I could usually get three to four slices off of the block and there's our egg. The rest in the fridge. Use it for something else. But this is going to go into the pan that we just had going with a little bit of oil in it. I did dump out most of the oil, so I don't really need all that oil in there. And to cook our tofu, I'm just going to put it back into that pan over like a medium heat and we're just looking for a little bit of browning on both sides. But wait, there's more. Once you put it into the pan, I'm going to put a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and some of this. It's called black salt or kalanamak. It gives kind of an eggy taste to the tofu. 
We found these really neat vegan gluten-free sandwich rolls and we're trying them out. They come frozen and they come in a package of six. I'm just gonna throw it in the toaster for about a minute or so and toast it up. As I said, this has some unconventional ingredients like a slice of tomato, but it's something that Derica likes on her sandwiches. So one nice slice of tomato. Okay, now that our buns are out of the toaster, I'm going to apply some mayo. This happens to be a cashew mayo that we made. I think we have videos on this on the channel. Or you can use any vegan mayo that you like. Okay, so back over to our tofu. It's been flipped, it's almost ready to go. Our seitan is now done. So I'm gonna take a piece of seitan out of the steamer and put it into the pan just to uh, crisp up the edges a little bit. Once I get it in there for about one minute, I'm gonna flip it over. Then I'm gonna add one slice of Follow Your Heart American cheese. Now you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. This just happens to be the one that we had handy. Then. I'm going to take that slice of tofu and put it on top of the cheese. Now to get that cheese melted, what we want to do is add a little bit of water to our pan, turn it up to high and put a lid over it for about one minute. At the end of one minute, our cheese is melty. Once our cheese is melted, take the sausage piece, drop it onto the bottom bun. Make sure that egg doesn't just slide off because the cheese is so melty. Sandwich always has an issue with what we like to call plate tectonics. Yes, it's a very not neat sandwich. I will just say that. Then on top of that, we're going to put our tomato and my favorite touch, ketchup. Good squirt on the top. Plate tectonics are happening yet again. Put the lid on the sandwich and we're going to go take some pictures of this and we'll be back to show you how it tastes. Time for my favorite part of every cooking show. And yeah, we had to wrap this thing up because it was just falling apart. If this sandwich is not a complete mess, then you did it wrong. I, okay. It, well, then we must've done it right. It's just- Look at that. Yeah, this is nuts. Ugh, you gotta, you gotta be able to taste it, you know? That's really good. Obviously, this is a seitan recipe in a sandwich. It's really hard to go wrong on this. It just, everything works. Even the tomato slice. It sounds weird, but it works. It just gives that little bit of freshness to it. Otherwise, it, it for me, it gets a little heavy. And that's why I like to add the tomato. That seitan sausage is awesome. It is like the best breakfast sausage ever. Okay, now that we're all messy, we're just gonna say, this is fantastic. You should make this. We're gonna eat the rest of these because I'm just, I, my fingers are getting covered with everything. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The, the Bistro. Bistro.